mile in fog patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Stars shining bright above. Alright everybody, what is up and welcome back to the Hops and Outdoors YouTube channel. Today we are out here on the beautiful Devil's Lake. This is a gorgeous sunrise. I got passed up. I'm not that far out from the launch area, but I'm in about 18 foot of water. I think I'm going to hunt walleyes this morning. I got passed up by a bunch of snowberries, which I'm going to guess were guides for somebody. Um, they were headed, headed out to the very south side of the lake which i guess makes sense because the wind has been blowing that way I'll shut my light off for you guys but uh i've been out here probably since six o'clock this morning it took me a little longer than i wanted to set up but uh we are set up now i'm gonna rig down hopefully pull some walleyes up this morning i got a grill to grill out here doesn't have its own ignition system which sucks i would definitely recommend buying a coleman but uh yeah i didn't get breakfast this morning so i'm gonna grill up a couple brats for breakfast hopefully catch some walleye right away this morning and then a little later here i'm gonna be moving deeper probably out to like 35 foot i'll probably move try to find those snow bears because i assume if those are guides well if you've got Whatever it takes to buy a snow bear, I don't even know what those cost. You probably know where the fish are, especially that many of them. There were like 10, 15 of them. So maybe find some white bass and some perch later on in the day. But uh, yeah, and then I move back shallow and uh, try to get back after some walleye. But I'm going to get you guys rigged up and I'm going to get this grill started and get some breakfast going because I'm hungry. So I'll see you guys here in a minute. I just want to show you guys how crystal clear this water is. Okay. You probably won't be able to see it right now because it just shot to the side. But. That's probably 10 foot down. It's on the bottom right now and I can see it. I could sight fish out of this hole right now. I'm in eight, 20, 20 foot of water and I could sight fish. Look. I don't think you guys can see that. Try to zoom in a little bit. That would be, I might, when I go down to Texas, I'm getting my chainsaw. We're going to do a couple of sight fishing videos, because I think I got a 24 inch bar on that. I should be able to get through this ice. Alright guys, 10 o'clock check in. This morning, right after I got set up, about 15 snow bears, probably 10 sleds, several ATVs, like uh, just a bunch of people passed me. They all went over there, in fact. If I zoomed in enough, you could probably see some of those snow bears. Um, so I'm going to guess I made a little miscalculation by staying over here. That being said, I can't really see much. Or I couldn't when it was dark out. So uh, I just kind of found 18 foot of water and set up for walleye. But I'm going to head out there. I'm going to start fishing for perch. So I'm going to set up in a little bit deeper water. But uh, yeah. I got this little rig going on here, some paracord. I don't have this off-road unit here. It does not have a uh, does not have a hitch, but it does have this little safety latch thing right here that I uh, tied that cord to, and then you just close the door. Boom! You can pull a sled. As you can see, I'm much more dressed up than I was just a second ago, so it's gonna get really warm. And there's almost no wind, so I'm going to start doing some hole hopping and really try to get on some perch today. I'm doing a blistering four mile an hour across the ice right now. But I see snow bears. 
they're out there. I'm pretty sure those are guides, so, I mean, if they're out here, there's a good chance the fish are gonna be out here because these guys know what's going on with, with this lake. I have no clue, so. I mean, last time I was out here, I did catch three walleye, but none of really any size except for that 17 incher. I'm just waiting for that thing to just catch something and just wham, knock everything over. And then I'm gonna have to drill a hole real quick to fill my bait water back up. All right, I decided to pull the sled inside because I've moved maybe a mile and I still got maybe a mile to go. And uh, that might be the go for like a short, quick little move, but I'm really trying to make some headway and get across this ice. So I'm definitely not gonna be doing that right now. Made it a little ways with it like that though. Well, it's my arch nemesis from last time I was here. I had one of those I couldn't get around. These snow bears have to be getting around this thing somewhere though. So, uh, I want to find where they're getting around at. I just seen one of those trucks drive from this way and every one of these snow bears, like that one right there, you guys can't really see them. It's all so zoomed out, but every one of those started on this side of the ice. They all passed me this morning, which means there is a spot to cross this thing somewhere over here. I finally made it to where they're crossing it at. Oh, I might have a center. I'm gonna hit that with some speed. It actually looks to be a little lower down there, possibly. Oh, the, there's a bunch of tracks right here. This ice is so slick. See, that's good for it though. You, you're gonna want to bottom your car out. That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, so I'm out here at the new spot. You got dude in the mini truck hauling a shack, just getting after it. You got the meeting of the snow bears right there, which I think makes this a good spot by default, because that's like at least Mmm, that's six, seven snow bears. Plus probably one that I can't see behind the rest of them. And then you got a couple other guys. Oh, and another snow bear. You know, just, just out here chilling. So, I'm pretty sure by default, that many people with that much money in one area means this is definitely a good spot. I've definitely gotten some looks about the old Civic being out on the ice, but that's all right. Um, I'm gonna get a graph drop down in this first hole and just see what I can't see. I might pop some dead sticks down first and uh, we'll see if I can't pull some huge devil's like perch out of the out of this lake. And then later, later on in the day, I'll probably head up shallow and uh, we'll see if we can't pull some walters out of the ice. Some go walleye. But I'm gonna get rigged down to get you guys rigged up and uh, we're gonna get after it. Alright guys, what is up? I'm back. We just pulled a 16 inch walleye. Out of one of my holes, just dead sticking. Followed a bunch of snow bears over here, but uh, they all left. They showed up, fished here for like 30 seconds and left. But uh, I got a walleye, so I'm gonna stick around. I'm in probably like 40 foot of water. I don't even know, I don't have my graph down. But uh, I'm gonna get a minnow back down there. Get you guys rigged up in my chest rig and I guess we got a video goat now. I've actually caught my first fish of the day. 
All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to whatever this is. What this is a stick. Gosh dang it. They don't even look like a stick. That looks like a deer antler or something. I just thought I was on a walleye. I was like, that thing didn't even set off my tip up. What the heck? It's just part of a tree. I don't know how I'm going to get this thing undone without cutting it either. That's kind of really unfortunate. Well, that's the way she goes. Oh, my minnow's still right there. Bye, minnow. Well, gosh dang it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that, but this lake is talking a lot. It's kind of cool. Alright, I just caught the tiniest baby walleye off camera. There appears to be another one at the bottom of the screen, possibly going after the dead stick. But, I finally have marks now. Which is a phenomenal thing to see. I haven't seen marks all day. That one might be a little better. Oh, that's a perch. I mean, not exactly what you think of when you think of Devil's Lake perch, but possibly a decent size. I'll keep him. He's like nine and a half. I think they're checking out the dead stick. They're just not doing anything about it. For sure. Holy cow. I think this rod just got smashed. I think it is still getting smashed. There we go. This might be a Devil's Lake purge. Or a halfway decent walleye possibly. Hopefully. Whatever it is, it'll make short runs toward the ice. Ooh, that's a keeper walleye. I'll keep him. Oi! You listen here. Well, that's a productive just little moment in time. Can I, can I have my hook back, please, Mr. Walleye, sir? Thank you. What do you guys think? Um, just over 13 inches. It will definitely keep. I'm going to quickly dispatch of him. Okay. I gotta cut my grill off though, because that's gonna kill me here in a second. Not because it's so hot either, it's just, it's not on, and I've already got a propane flame lit, so I don't need a uh, second propane flame to kill me, or an explosion of propane to kill me. Alright guys, I think I've been coaxing this bigger walleye down here for a while, and I think I finally... Got him up here. I say bigger. I wouldn't say he's bigger. He's definitely not as big as I thought he was. Because he was going after the two and a half inch tantrum. He just wouldn't actually eat it. Mm, well, it says battery is too low to run the flash. So, 
Ah. You thought so. Uh, he's a 15 inch walleye. He wouldn't have been a bad third walleye, but unfortunately, that little one's gotta go because he would not survive in the wild any longer. Golly. That good release shot of him. I'm gonna start packing down because it is that time. And uh, yeah.